Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, this week, let's go ahead and cover the difference between a 30 amp service and a 50 amp service. Now, if you're new to RVing, or maybe you're out there searching around, ready to purchase an RV, you may see two different models out there. One of those may come in a 30 amp variety, the other one may be 50 amp, and you're wondering, what's the difference? Well, let me first tell you that a 30 amp service, we're talking about electricity. When we're talking about electricity, we're talking about how many different items can we turn on at once. With a 30 amp service, you know, first just give you the numbers. You got about 3,600 watts that you can use. What? Yeah, why? So anyway, what do we mean by that? Well, let's look at it from our appliances. Now, the one appliance that will always be on will be our refrigerator, right? You like your food cold? Well, that refrigerator is on. Now, is it consuming all the time? No, but it doesn't tell you when it's going to go into a cool cycle. So we like to just assume that it's always on. When you have a 30 amp service, you may have one AC. Some of you, foolishly, the RV industry may give you two ACs. Hmm. Okay, if you have an AC on, that air conditioner, man, that is the biggest appliance on that RV. And by biggest, I mean it consumes the most wattage. Upwards of 2,400 watts for those of you that are just kind of keeping up with this. Well, if you have 3,600 watts available and you got your air conditioner on, you got very little left that you can use for other things. So when you're deciding between a 30 amp service and a 50 amp service, understand, yes, you can run one AC. The refrigerator is always going to be on if it's consuming electricity and you got very little power left or anything else. Yes, maybe the TV. Okay. And that is fine. But can you run the microwave if your air conditioner is on and you have a 30 amp service? Chances are no. Okay. Because if your air conditioner is on, that means it's really hot outside. And if it's really hot outside, that air conditioner draws a lot of power. So for those of you considering a 30 amp service, AC, or microwave, and that's how I want you to understand it. I can run the AC or the microwave, very few chances, <laughs> and I'm crossing my fingers when this happens to run both at the same time. So when you're cooking, what do you have to do? Well, that means you have to turn off the air conditioner, do your cooking with your microwave, and then whenever the microwave is done, turn the air conditioner back on. Now, if you're looking at maybe now looking at a 50 amp service, yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more for that model. Okay, but with a 50 amp service, just to break you down the numbers real quick, you got 12,000 eventual watts. 12,000 watts you can use potentially. 3,600 on that 30 amp service, 12,000 on the 50 amp service. Okay, so it's not just 20 amps, and I see people say that all the time. What's the difference between a 50 amp service and a 30 amp service? Hey, it's 20 amps. No, it's a lot. Okay, you got about 70 amps difference. Let's talk appliances. What can I do in a 50 amp service? I'm trying, Todd, I'm trying to decide between a 30 amp RV and a 50 amp RV. What can I run in that 30, that 50 amp RV? Well, here you go. You can run two ACs and the microwave at the same time, plus your refrigerator. Can you do three ACs? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can run all three ACs, but not the microwave. Three ACs and the refrigerator and the TV. Okay. So let's get with the big items. Okay. Three ACs refrigerator, TV, two ACs, the microwave, refrigerator, and TV. So there's a lot more potential that you can draw on on that 50 amp service. So the difference between the two, two ACs, okay? Uh, 30 amp service, one AC or one microwave or one microwave. A 50 amp service, two ACs in the microwave or three ACs. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, roll the bloopers. Hey, if you like what you see here, don't only, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> go ahead and hit, <laughs> hey, before we get, thank you for your time.